Hello and welcome to the next video on my channel where we're going to go over uh, five unique jungle picks from this past season in, uh, well, split in LOL Esports, four major regions, Korea, China, Europe, and North America. On here you'll see there are no European players because there was no pick made by a European player that was not made by another individual, whether in Europe or one of the other three major regions in the jungle in spring regular season. I do highlight that there is one pick on here that has occurred since in the playoffs, so it um, wasn't one and done in just a regular season. It was picked again. Um, in terms of the jungle meta, you know, because you just watched the, the top lane video. A lot of people did, actually. If you didn't watch the mid lane video, I'm going to put that at the end again of this one. Um, you know, there were a lot of unique uh, picks and just champion expression in the top lane we see that in solo lanes often i've seen it over the years with my patch videos that i did in the past um comparing win rates and things like that and trying to figure out meta diversity um so jungle tends to not be the case so to see five champions on here not a shock however there is a video i have kind of sitting in in the holster if you will if i want to make it or not i'm still deciding that will show that jungle actually was a lot more diverse than this video gives a credit for as well as in in general um there you know if you if you watch the mid lane video i made before the um unique video un unique champion picks where it, it went over who plays the most champs and azir was dominant you know most people played azir the most Jungle is very diverse um, in that regard. There are probably eight different champions that somebody played the most, um, which is definitely interesting. So, regardless, you came for this if you haven't clicked off already. Diana was picked by Milky Way. It has since been picked in um, the playoffs as well. Um, I believe it won the second time. Um, but, nevertheless, Milky Way did lose. It was played into Hung's Vi. And team, we would win that one. So that is something to think about, right? That this pick, now we see how good FPX did. This pick was a part of the reason why they lost, and, and it was that sus in that matchup. However, I mean, it wasn't actually the Diana pick. I mean, Milky Way had an 8.5, um, well, 7.5 KDA. 24 gold share, 25 damage share. The return on investment was there. Carry oriented jungle pick, and... Um, he was, he was not the reason they lost that game. But nevertheless, it is the only one that we have seen again in the playoffs since. Fiddlesticks. Canyon played it into uh, Cuz's Vi. Cuz playing for KDF in that one. Um, an expected win regardless of probably what champion Gen G picks in the jungle. But Fiddlesticks did win with a 9 KDA. I think he went 1-1-8. One, one, and eight. Had a 17-2 gold share. Uh, just under 12 damage share, which is... Something to note that the Fiddle did not deal a ton of damage. And when you think of Fiddlesticks, you think more carry-oriented than Facilitator. At 15 minutes, he had a 480 gold lead, 5 CS, 42 XP. So a slight advantage, but not a big gap, right? I mean, based on these numbers, it's more of a Facilitator pick in that spot. Kha'Zix was picked by Zhao Feng of OMG. In two top esports, and Tian played Jax, and Tian would win. Um, Zhao Feng had a 3 KDA in that one, 21.7 gold share, and 21 damage share. So you really can't blame him and the Kazix for that loss when it comes to just statistical output. He did return on investment is there. They gave him 21% of the gold. He gave them back 21% of the damage. Um, you'd like more, but... You know, it didn't happen. And in, the, in that matchup, we think about it, top esports are better than OMG, right? So, more often than not, they're going to win no matter what's in the jungle. Nautilus Jungle was picked by Peanut of HLE. They would lose against Gen G. Canyon playing Lee Sin. Peanut had a 1 KDA, 17.8 gold share, below 8% damage share. That's not a shock. It's a Nautilus, right? We don't expect a Nautilus to do anything but hook people and ulti people. So it was a true blue support jungle pick. Um, down nearly 600 gold, 15 CS, 358 XP. I mean, it was behind and that's not a shock, right? So the Nautilus in 
I mean, in, in theory, the Nautilus is going to be down in, in CS, it's going to be down in, in gold, but it should be okay in XP, and it should be finding ways to make things happen, and it simply wasn't the case in that one as HLE lost, and that's a matchup that is close, right? That's an elite matchup between HLE and Gen G, and it could have went either way, at least on paper between those two teams, you know, if you take the champions away. Lastly, um, an interesting pick by River of 100 Thieves. He played Shaco into NRG, a matchup which I would consider to be a toss-up between 100 Thieves and NRG. It could go either way. Contracts was playing Ivern in that one, and the Shaco would win. So two of the five matchups on here resulted in a win. He had a 4.5k, uh, sorry, 4.5 KDA, an 18-1 gold share, a 12.4 damage share, so you think the shock would deal more damage it just wasn't the case um down 100 gold up 9 cs and 170 xp so i had a couple camps over the ivern but behind in gold by a bit so um you know honestly these are some really fun picks i like champion diversity i like seeing uniqueness in in picks i think that that's the best way for a player to express their skill how good they really are and uh, seeing a Shaco this year was fun as hell. Seeing Fiddlesticks Jungle is is fun. Um, you know, Diana we've seen even even make a uh, an appearance in the mid lane um, a bit. So it's kind of rolling back in into the meta, um, at least into the box, if you will, um, of of meta picks. So you know, yeah. So five interesting picks to to talk about. Comment down below if you remember these games. Uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, become a YouTube member, and hope to see you again tomorrow.